Hey guys, Alex here from Alex and Stuff, and today I have an unboxing. Uh, I've got my 2020 R1250 RS next to me, and I decided I wanted to change the seat on my bike. So, if you know, the BMWs have an option for four different seat heights. Uh, this one actually has the lowest of all the seat heights. Uh, there's a middle one called the standard. Uh, the one above that is more of like the high seat, the sports seat. And then there's another one that's like really high. That's the uh, race seat. Either way, uh, I decided that I wanted to go with an aftermarket seat and uh, a brand that I've gone with before. And we have my sergeant seat that finally came in. So uh, let's get right to it and see what we got here. Try not to cut anything inside. And let's see what we've got here. Of a seat, and 
the construction wasn't as good as the sergeant brand. So anyway, that's uh, ended up going with the sergeant. Like I said, I've had it on previous bikes as well, so I really trusted the brand. And I mean, this is really nicely made. It's actually, it's not, not heavy, not too bad. Uh, but why don't we do this? Let's take the factory one off and compare the two. So let's do this, this, and we'll put that there. So I've already got my key in. So, you can see by looking at these, styled a little bit the same. I mean, obviously the front is going to have the same cutout, comes up just as high, although it looks like this has a little bit more of a bump in the back. This one kind of does actually, if you push material down, again, like this is the low seat. So, you can see right here how low it actually goes and there's not, not as much padding in the back. I mean literally when you're sitting on this all this just deforms and flattens out. So there's really not much padding on this low seat whatsoever. Um, but you can see from the side profiles that the Sergeant definitely has a little bit more on that thicker uh, profile down here versus right here. So that's really what I was kind of looking for, something that would raise me up a little bit more, only because this bike did have the, the higher seat, so not the middle one, and I ended up having this swapped on at the dealership, only because I felt like I wanted to go a little bit lower. But I really wanted that middle seat, and instead of spending the same amount on an OEM factory seat, get something built a little bit better, more comfortable. So anyway, this does look a little bit wider, one second. All right, so I've got my tape measure here, and I just want to kind of see the widths at the widest part here. So this looks like it's about a little over 13 and a half, and this is just about 13 and a quarter. So I would say maybe about a quarter, a little over a quarter of an inch more on the width at the widest part. This definitely has more of a rounded profile. You can see definitely a little bit more of a rounded profile than the factory seat, which kind of has, it's more of an angle. Um, but all in all, it seems to be pretty nice. Um, you definitely have a different material. This has carbon fiberish looking weave. It's supposed to be a little bit more grippy. Um, I didn't want the side, this is just a regular seat. Like I said, they offer this in like a sport version of materials, so it's a little bit more grippy on the side. I'm not getting my knee down on this thing. This is not, I'm not trying to grip on the sides and slide all over the seat. I just want something a little bit more comfortable for touring, longer distance, sitting flat on my butt anyway. So, all right, let's um, pop this on and see how this looks. So, put on there like that. And let's see how it matches up to the back. Okay. So this is nice. It's uh, definitely a little bit flatter. Um, it matches up with the factory pillion seat pretty good. And uh, it doesn't seem like it has an issue. I mean, I had to push a little bit more to get this down, but I'm sure it'll probably break in a little bit uh, after some time. Um, but let's uh, hop on it, see how it feels. So right away, I can tell that it has a little bit more, um, I can feel the width on it. And I can feel that little bit more of an angle in the back. Um, I don't feel like I'm sliding into the front as much as I was on the other seat, which would kind of like, you know, sometimes BMW bikes, a lot of sport, sportier bikes uh, have a tendency to shove you into the, uh, the tank, um, but not bad. I still feel like I'm sitting um, in the bike as opposed to over it or on it, and yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit of a harder, I'm okay with, 
because you know the softer material is actually is not terribly good in a long type of ride. Um, it's the hard material is going to support your your bones and your butt a little bit better. So yeah, this is actually pretty comfortable. Still flat foot, but I can definitely tell it's a little bit higher. Um, I feel a little bit more in the side here, even though I don't think it came out, eh, maybe came out a little bit more. So it is spreading my legs a little bit more when my feet are down, uh, but not so bad. But it definitely gave me the little bit of height increase that I was looking for in the seat uh, that I wasn't getting in the factory seat. And yeah, I can actually feel the backrest uh, or the plain seat kind of, you know, holding me there, which is pretty nice. Yeah, looking forward to uh, going for a ride on this and giving my feedback on um, basically a little bit of a, a ride review. This is more, you know, an unboxing. So, yeah, we'll take it for now how it is and I'll come back and get you more. So, please feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see the next video when I actually give it my uh, review, what I think. Thanks guys, have a good one.